The Afro Nations League has asked oil companies operating in Vakasi Peninsula to start paying taxes to its leadership or face the impending doom that will befall the region. The secessionist group said the oil said that the oil companies would be spared if they start paying tax to taxes to its leadership. The deputy national leader of the Biafra Nations League and head of operations BSL, BBS Media, Ebuta Ako Takon, in a statement to Daily Post, warned that the group will not take it lightly with any company that failed to yield to their demand. The group said, sorry, the group which had earlier issued a quick notice to oil companies in the region warned of impending doom that will soon befall companies if they fail to leave, threatening to take them unawares and they will run. The Biafra National Nations League further threatened to pull down billboards bearing Republic of Cameroon in Cameroon-controlled towns of the Bakasi Peninsula. According to them, this is a way of sanctioning President Paul Bia for allegedly killing their supporters in the region. We won't disclose the dates. We have kept our date secret. It will happen like a film trick. We are only making it known so that when it happens, no need to say it is unknown gunmen or unknown group or bandits. It is the Biafran Nations League, the group boasted. Pay taxes to us or face impending doom. It warned the oil companies as it were. Well, this is an audacious demand, if you ask me. You know, paying taxes as it were to um, the Biafran group is really, really um, something that might be difficult and may not happen. But this is coming as a threat to the oil companies in the south east, in the south south, as it were, especially in the axis where the uh, Bakasi Peninsula. They want to begin to collect tax. Hmm. This is going to be massive, though. I stand to be corrected, but it's going to be really, 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 really massive. It is what it is. We keep our fingers crossed to see how things unfold on this particular news story as it were. How do you think it is possible that the oil companies will pay taxes to this group? It doesn't look any way uh, possible with all that is happening right now. It does not look possible that uh, these oil companies will pay taxes to them. But be that as it were, are they able to carry out their um, threats on the group? Of course, you cannot write them off or write them out as the case may be. They probably will be able, they will carry out the, listen, they, they are tax. There are possibilities that they will carry out their tax. But the question now is, will they in any way be able to collect the taxes? To a very large extent, it is in, impossible. Let me not say, let, well, let me not just say impossible, but it's going to be difficult. Because these people are not a government yet. And don't forget that they were part of the reason why uh, the Nigerian army actually and military deployed uh, military air drone and uh, army to those particular villages in Akwaibom state also sometime recently and uh, intended to flush them out. So to a very large extent, it's going to be very, very difficult. But we keep our fingers crossed to see how things unfold if they are going to be um, carrying out the threat. They have said that they are not going to announce the date, but there is serious unrest right now as it is. There is serious unrest, and um, nobody knows for sure what will happen, how it will happen, and what exactly is about to happen, or what they intend to do. But if they carry out their threats the way they are saying it and planning it, 
then you would expect that the government will have to react. The government would have to react. And these oil companies are paying huge taxes to the federal government and uh, other governments, uh, the state government, as it were. But who knows how the taxes have been utilized? So to a very large extent, it is going to be a very, very serious and massive one if the Biafra Nations League actually carries out their threat of collecting their taxes. Because if the oil companies pay taxes to the Biafra Nation League, are they going to be paying another tax to the government, either the federal government or the state government? Of course, they would be able to do that. That would be double taxation. And will they be able to carry it out? To a very large extent, it is no. So what? Well, it is a massive one. It is a massive one, and uh, we just have to keep our fingers crossed to see how things unfold on this particular news story, as it were. That is the situation of things right now in the country. Different groups are coming up. Those that are coming up, armed groups are coming up. A lot of groups are actually coming out and coming up right now as it is. And one would only imagine or think that with the level of um, different uh, armed groups springing up here and there, what is the chances that Nigeria will survive beyond 2023. It is difficult to say. It is hard. You know, nobody knows. Nobody can say for sure. It is really, really difficult. Nobody can uh, fully, fully uh, attest or guarantee that there will be a country. Here and there, wherever you go, in all the regions, there are issues that are pending. It is a very, very massive one, if you'd ask me. But be that as it were, we keep our fingers crossed to see how things unfold. What are your thoughts concerning this particular news story as it were? Well, we keep our fingers crossed. The, this is what the uh, APC government under the leadership of President Muhammad Buhari has reduced Nigeria to. You know, prior to 2015, Nigeria was still much more uh, balanced, acceptable, and much more accepted and acceptable to lots of people. But as it is, it is really, really a saddening situation. Well, drop by the comment section, let us know what your thoughts are. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you are yet to subscribe. Kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. And they were to share these new stories with your friends, family, relations, and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support, and I'll see you guys on the other news. Thank you, and bye for now.